despite an impressive 15th place finish for the women and 28th place for the men's team in the NCAA Cross Country Championship last season, this Notre Dame program feels they could have been better, and that is where they will start this season. Well, I, you know, I think our expectations are always to get better and build on the previous year, and, and you know, this year's no different. You know, we ran well at the NCAA meet, and yet they all walked away feeling like, yeah, we could have been a little bit better. With high expectations set entering their first year in the Atlantic Coast Conference, the runners and coaches believe they will have a shot at winning each meet they are in. Well, if you look at uh, the, in the fall cross country, the ACC may be the best conference in the country. Uh, assuming that we would have been in last year along with Syracuse that's going in this year, there would have been five women's teams at the NCAAs in cross country and seven men's teams. Now remember, they only take 31 teams, so that's almost 25% of the field comes from one conference. The Fighting Irish will also run with a ton of experience. For the men, track All-American and World University Games silver medalist Jeremy Ray and senior captain J.P. Millette will lead the way. Track All-Americans Alexa and Danielle Aragon, along with a handful of others, will pace a deep women's team. You know, we have really good experience. I mean, we have three seniors and all three of them have run in the NCAA meet before. Um, Two of them were all Americans last track season, Kelly and Alexa Aragon. Um, you know, so those, those three are, are ones that we expect a lot of. Well, uh, we will start off in a week at Valparaiso, a very small, low key meet. Then we come to the National Catholic meet, which is at Notre Dame. I think this is the 35th year we've had the National Catholic. And then the season really gets going with the Notre Dame Invitational. And we have 11 nationally ranked teams that are coming in. After that, then we move on to Wisconsin and where there's going to be at least 20 nationally ranked teams. And then the ACC meet, which will be uh, this year at Wake Forest, and then the region meet, and then the nationals. And so it's, it's a, it doesn't sound like a lot of meets, but it's a, a very intense season. The 2013 campaign will begin September 6th at the Crusader Open, followed by two big meets, the National Catholic Championships and the Notre Dame Invitational on campus. Then the Fighting Irish's first ACC championship will take place November 1st.